Right. Someone's obviously driving a Formula One car around this morning. Jeez, that sounds fantastic. <laughs> anyway, in front of me and you is the new Peachtree Audio Design 5 stand mount speaker. Not going to try and trick you, I don't know anything about it. It turned up about 30 minutes ago uh, with the distributor with some stock that we've ordered and, and sold and things that we're going to put on demo, which which we haven't got on demo at the moment, like the GAN 400, the new GAN 400 pre DAC combo uh, in, in ash grey, which we've got uh, coming for stock, so we'll do a video on that soon. I'm currently uh, listening to the pre DAC and AMP 500, which was the the sort of reference uh, before the GAN 400 came out. So I'll probably uh, release that video. Still a very relevant product, but it sits one below the GAN 400 in the line. Interesting to me are these. They're doing them at a um, at the moment as a promotion with the pre DAC and GAN 400 package. And I'm pretty sure with the pre DAC and AMP 500 package, I'm, I'd have to clarify on that. Cost-wise, you're looking at £590, although there will be £380 if bought with the bundles, the AMP 500 and Pre-DAC, and the GAN 400 and Pre-DAC, which are 249 and 4799 respectively. And, uh, yeah, so they're, they're doing a bit of a promo on these at the moment to get them out there with, the, with their products, you know, which is always quite cool. Let's have a look. Like I say, I've, I've, I, 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 I kind of knew they were coming because I've spoken to them a while ago, and 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 they said that they were, you know, the the D5s were coming out, and they they were they were doing sort of package deals. So I said, well, you know, we'll have a set with our own uh, GAN 400 and uh, pre DAC, um, and we'll give them a go, and we'll see see what they're going to do. Now, what's going to probably happen with these is I'm probably going to take these home and put them on my computer system where I do my editing and stuff. Um, with a Nova 300, so I'll have a USB sort of computer audio uh, into the directly into the Nova 300 DAX USB input, and uh, play these on a desktop rather than a conventional sort of stand uh, two-channel system. They'll be a bit, a bit more, a bit more studio sort of styley. But uh, yeah, so we've got a box inside a box, as usual. Owner's manual in a funky little, must be a Canadian thing, like a strange binder. Uh, but yeah, I'll have a look at that in a sec. Little squidgy feet. Bag of the old, uh, bag of the old dry stuff. And it looks like some white sacks with speakers inside. Here we go. God, that is. I don't know if you just heard that, or, or, or the camera may have vibrated, but that's a substantial speaker. At five ninety, is not really. I don't know. I don't know. You have to excuse my reactions because, of course, that, like I say, I've, I've not opened them before. This is it. Not really, what I was expecting, but that feels like a like a very heavy. Expensive speaker, to be fair. <clears throat> I don't even know. I don't even know what colour they are. <laughs> I've got to be honest. They're probably. I mean, the images I've seen are gloss black. I don't think they come in any other colours. But um, let's have a look. The thing I love about products like this, as well, is it just looks like, you know, a, a guy has done all of this. They, it's all been. None of it looks like. Uh, None of it looks like a machine's done any of it. It all looks kind of, kind of proper. There's a very good reflection on the top of that. On the top of that there. Let me get my uh, lazy Susan. This thing is a cheap like piece of crap, but 
It'll let me spin this speaker around. That is a heavy speaker. Um, let me just get this. Uh, you can see this sort of machined and rebated binding post panel here. That's metal, looks like aluminium. These binding posts are, let me just check in terms of price, what we've got in the shop that these binding posts, because I've seen these a number of times now, way up there. Okay, so, I mean, the Dyne Audio Evoke has the same posts, the Evoke 20, it's 1800 quid. Um, yeah, I'm not too sure how good a comparison that is, but, you know, you don't usually see posts like this on a, a sub 600 pound speaker. That port is blended in, which I love to see, there's no plastic lips there's nothing to in, in, interrupt or introduce any sort of port noise there it's so important that port flares are, are, are just perfectly sort of rounded or perfectly smooth at least now old school style tabs for for the grills we can't be expecting flush magnets and stuff like that can we really at, at that price but they just look like little dowels that is that is either, I think that's painted MDF. Feels like plastic, so it feels like a very well machined thing. Has a foam surround inside this grill here. I'm wondering if that's a tuning thing. I'm wondering if these are gonna be ran um, with their grills on. I'm wondering if that's the design, if that's some sort of step reflection kind of, kind of thing. But I'll listen to them with and without. That you, you know by now that I'm quite fussy about finishes and, and how cabinets are finished and this you know it it's it's not glass flat like you get from a from a few thousand pound speaker but it is um as gloss black goes and gloss black's probably the worst it's probably the hardest one to to get right I tell you what there isn't though there's no buffer trails I, coming from a, an automotive background paint refinishing and uh, uh, and finishing down from a detailing perspective is something that I, I understand and I know quite well and uh, buffer trails are very obvious to me and anything that's painted or anything that's polished uh, even down to sort of say French polishing tactics or the automotive finishes that I have on some of my um, vintage speakers and stuff like that and there's no buffer trails on this at all and they are hand finished apparently they're, they're hand finished with a polisher Well, let's get you some more close-ups. So this is a long throw, five inch driver and a silk dome. Looks like just under a, just under an inch. So um, yeah, let's have a, I'll show you a closer spin round of them. There we are. <laughs> there isn't any lip there. That is smoothed in to that port. Have a look at the reflection of the side of the room in that face. This is a nice speaker to look at this. So yeah, that's the D5. Spoken to you about the money, spoken to you about 
some of its bits and bobs. I don't know everything about it, like I say, I only turned up a minute ago. I can't give you my opinion, I can't tell you about the sound of it. But what I will do is, like I say, I'm going to take these two home, I'll pop them on my uh, desk, and uh, and I'll give you a, I'll give you a, you know, I'll, I'll probably give you another video on them, to be fair. They're, um, they're really substantial, really dead. Like, that's not, it's very surprising that, in the hand. I don't know if you get that, or if you understand that, like, and anything that's anything that you sort of hold or you know lift up that's got that sort of real high quality which is you know 99% of the time is a real high cost you know high ticket product so it's a bizarre one I wasn't really expecting to lift out such a such a heavy inert speaker Yeah, I'm looking. I'm looking forward to hearing them. To be fair, I think they, uh, you know, I, I get to listen to them on the Nova 300 as well. I suppose, which I'm going to have to take with me today. I don't know how all that's going to fit in the car. Um, yeah, yeah. The Peachtree D5. It's here. Um, if you've heard them, or if you've, you know, if you've heard them in a, you know, in, in a demo room, and you've had the chance already. You know, if you're looking to buy, you can buy them here, but I just can't give you my, my opinion at the moment on how they sound. If you have heard them, or you know of them, or or the Peachtree product itself, and you enjoy their amplification and their DAX, let me know down in the comments. I'm 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 game for a chat um, when it's pleasant in the uh, you know in, in the comments. And if you like the video, it's a very simple one. This and a, a very basic introduction to the speaker. But if you like my sort of vibe and this channel. Give us a give us a like and a subscribe, it helps. Alright? Take it easy guys. This is the Peachtree D5 590 or 380 when you pair it with the GAN 400 and Predac, which is 4799, or the Predac and Amp 500, which is 4249. Alright? I'm Carl into Studio in Car. Take it easy. Try and tell me it's not practical.